everyone's Jackal Wolf back in Feed the Beast's Ocean Block with another five minutes. That's how I did it. Now, if you've been following along, you know that we are working our way through the quest book. Last episode, we did the Iron Sluice quest, Oh the Irony, which was basically a quest to upgrade our Oak Sluice up to a Iron Sluice. One of the benefits of doing this is that we can achieve some semi-automation when it comes to our sluices. So by upgrading to an Iron Sluice, we can now automatically input items through the top using a, a hopper. Also, by placing a chest at the bottom of the sluice, it automatically collects any items that are sluiced out of the material that we are using. Whereas with the oak sluice, all the items that were sluiced out would basically just be stuck at the bottom, and then we would have to manually keep feeding it with uh, items into our top here, which is, you know, sort of, it is a doable process, but this at least lets us kind of set our pump, you know, our manual pump running, so it's not fully automated yet. This is still semi-automatic because we've got basically to, you know, push this uh, pump uh, or run this pump uh, manually to get it up and running. But once our pump is filled up, it will run until that pump runs out, which is a you know a fair amount of time. We get a couple of uh, you know minutes out of it before it actually starts to uh, break down. So this is a very very good semi-automatic system. But that was all last episode. This episode, what we're gonna do is we're gonna focus on taking the resources that we get from the sluice, which for the most part, at least early on, is gonna end up being these chunks. If we were to take four chunks, now I'm using the iron as an example, put them in a two by two crafting area, we get something called a cluster. Now the iron cluster by itself is not a usable item. If we were to try to run it through a furnace, you can see it does not actually convert down into the uh, iron ingots. What we need to do is we need to process this a little bit further before we can get it into something useful. Now there are a number of different processes that we can use to turn these iron clusters into something useful. Because we are still early game, we are kind of limited in our choices, but our best bet for getting our iron clusters to an iron ingot is to turn that iron cluster into some iron dust. Now the most simple way of doing that is probably gonna be by making ourselves a engineer's hammer. To make an engineer's hammer, it is two sticks, two iron ingots, and a piece of string. Now the engineer hammer by itself is a really, really cool tool. Look at that, we got a little uh, wandering trader villager here. You've got nothing that I want though. So you're just gonna get in the way though. <laughs> so just stay, stay back there and we'll be okay. Now the engineer's hammer is a very, very useful tool in and of itself. If we have it in our hand, we can right click on blocks and spin them around. That is gonna be useful when we are placing items in our world. You know, say we want our chest to look in a different direction or you know, any number of things, especially when we get up to some sort of automation. But if we were to take that engineer's hammer, put it into a crafting table with one of these iron clusters, we end up getting some iron dust. Now this is gonna be very similar to most of the metal clusters that we get out of our sifting. There are some other types of clusters that this is obviously not gonna work with, but because iron is so important in our early game, this is the one we're gonna be focusing on the most. So engineer's hammer, iron cluster, gets us some iron dust. Now this iron dust, we can go take it into a furnace, run it through, we will get our iron ingot at the end. There you go, we've now got ourselves a iron ingot. That is absolutely perfect. Now, while this is a perfectly legitimate way to get our iron ingots, it's always important to kind of look at any sort of methods that you can for ore doubling. By ore doubling, what I mean is that if we take a look at all the different uses for this iron cluster, you can see there's a lot of options here that end up giving us two iron dust for one iron cluster. Now, most of these are a little bit advanced. This quartz grindstone, for example, is gonna require us to have some quartz. There is a mechanical squeezer that's going to require us to have some power. Uh, there are a bunch of different, in, like the enrichment chambers, you know, the purification chambers, the pulverizer. All of these gives us two iron dust for the one iron cluster, which is absolutely perfect. But of course, they are a little bit out of our range right now. There are two that we have access to that we could probably do right away. One of which is going to be the smelting, though... To start the smelting, we have to first make the melter. Then once we make the melter, we can make our you know proper smeltery. 
The Melter's only going to get us one ingot and three nuggets. The Smeltry will get us that full two ingots as well. But the problem with the Smeltry is that we're going to need a heat source like lava. Lava is going to require us to have a tempered jar, which is just a couple steps away. We will be working towards that soon. But there is something called a squeezer, which is actually going to allow us to manually double our ore here. So to make a squeezer, it is two wood planks, one iron ingot, four sticks, and a block of iron. Now, if we go take the squeezer, place it in our world, we can take one of these clusters, we can push it in there, and then all we're going to do is basically jump on top. You can see it's going down, and then we go. We picked up two of those iron dusts. Now, to reset the squeezer, we just got to go place something like a button. Right-click that. It kind of pushes us off there. We can time it with a jump if we are, you know, timing, you know, trying to time it. But yeah, all we got to do is jump up and down. You can see we can get that ore doubling. There we go. And then just keep jumping up and down. Oh, whoa. hey everyone, it's 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 Future Jackal Wolf here. I just 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 want to thank everyone for watching these videos here. I, I really, really appreciate the support. Oh, and, and if you're looking for other ways to support, you can always check out my Patreon page. And you know what? Uh, maybe, maybe, maybe my new YouTube membership page. There are a lot, lot, lot of great perks there, like, you know, maybe some early access stuff, some, you know, what be behind the scenes stuff, and, and maybe if there's enough interest, even a, a Patreon YouTube membership Minecraft server, if, you know, that's, that's the sort of thing that you like. So, you know, uh, maybe you might want to go check those out. Anyways, you know what, uh, th thanks, thanks again for watching. All right, there you go. We just turned 12 uh, iron clusters into 24 iron dust. Let's go throw that up into our furnace. And while we're waiting for that, let's go have a little nap. Okay, so now we go check out our furnace. You can see we are now processing, you know, double the amount of iron that we would have had previously. This is still a manual process. There's a lot of ways that we can automate this. They are going to be coming up. But for right now, to maximize our iron or, you know, any of our, you know, resources, this is going to be very, very useful. So what we can do now, we can open up our quest book. Now, I did not do any quests on this page. Next episode, we're going to be working towards the cast iron that's one of the reasons we want to double our ore is that we're going to need a fair bit of cast iron the cast iron is going to need some iron but what we did do is we crafted ourselves this engineer's hammer so we do get a reward for that and we got a singularity tank okay this is going to be very very useful when it comes to collecting fluids uh, especially things like you know experience or lava or things like that so this is going to come in handy uh, they are fairly simple to make there's simply five glass blocks and four iron ingots to make a singularity tank. So they are really, really useful and you will get a lot of use out of them. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. Hopefully you guys are enjoying this series. If you did, please think about leaving a like and a subscribe. You can follow me on Twitter at Jackal Wolf. Also check out the description below. There'll be a link to my Discord page. I would love it if you guys stop by to say hi. As well to be a link to my Patreon and my YouTube membership page. If you enjoy this channel, if you enjoy this content, you want to support, stop by either of those, check them out. There are a lot of great perks out there for all of my supporters. But that is it. I'll see you guys next time. Good.